This presentation is going to be about the climate and how animals, plants and humans adapt to survive in this environment. So our plant adaptation will be looking at cactus, our animal adaptation will be looking at camels and human survival techniques and some challenges that humans face in the desert. So remember hot deserts are located in the subtropical areas at around 30 degrees north and south of the equator and they are mainly found in the interiors of continents and on the western side of continents. So the desert climate then, the temperature ranges from between 45 degrees in the day and 4 degrees at night. So deserts can be very cold at night due to the lack of cloud cover in the day. This means that all of the day's heat can escape back into space and the desert is not warmed up. This is called the diurnal range. So the deserts have a large diurnal range because it's the cold at night and very warm in the day. So our animal adaptations, we are going to focus on camels. So one way they are adapted to live in the desert is that they have long eyelashes which protect their eyes from the sand. Another adaptation is their humps which are on their back. These don't store water, they store fat, which can give the camels nutrients and water as it is released as they move along. Another adaptation is their large splayed feet, which helps them not to sink in the sand. Thick lips to chew the spiky plants like cactuses. Also, their nostrils can open or close, which can protect them from the sand that might blow in them. Finally, they can go a long time without water, partly due to their humps, which obviously store the fat, which can give them water over a period of time. Our plant adaptation we're focusing on is our cactus or cacti. One adaptation is that they have large stems that can store water. Another adaptation is they have a widespread root system or a root tap system, which can collect water easily from deep underground. Also, cactus have thick, waxy skin to reduce water loss through pores. Finally, they have spines instead of leaves for two purposes. One, to reduce surface area for transpiration. So obviously when the sun shines on the needles, there's less surface area for the, tr for the leaf to lose water. And also the spines are there to protect them from predators. Finally then, Let's look at some challenges that humans face in the desert. Disorientation, so getting lost in the desert as it all looks the same. Extreme temperatures, as we know, there's a large diurnal range. It's freezing at night and very hot in the day. Dehydration because of this, there's a lack of water, which can cause delusions when humans go for a long period of time without water. That's what can happen. Also sunburn because of the high temperatures in the day and this must mean rationing of food and water. So how can they overcome these issues? So one way is pack plenty of food and water. So when they are rationing, they have enough to go around and for a long period of time. A hat to protect the body and head from the sunlight and the sand. Also try to stay out of the heat in the day and only move at night when it is coldest. Finally, suitable clothing, so long sleeve tops and trousers to prevent the sunlight getting directly onto the skin.